circuit on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram tunazingojea hapo au vipi? VDJ Khalifa. Yeah man. Si tunazingojea hapo. Lazima. <laughs> Safi kabisa. Now our next guest. Uh he has a really interesting stage name. I really like it. Yeah, <laughs> it goes by the name uh Kokodi Taproot. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's a nice nice name and Thank uh, you very much. He's joined by Natalie, aka Tali Mkali. Yes. <laughs> There's an interesting story to how you got that uh, stage name, yeah? Um, at the launch. The, uh, the launch. At the launch a month ago uh. of the song Kokoriko. Um, yeah, the, at the end of it, after the presentation, Fundi Fred Frank came over and said, What's your name? I said, Tali. He says, What's your name? I said, Tali. He says, Oh, Tali Makali. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Uh, for, uh, there's a song you did, there's a collab you did, yes. and that's yeah. how you met uh, yeah. uh, Fundi Frank at the launch, yeah? Yes. It's called Kokoriko. Kokoriko. Yeah. We're going to get into it, but, but first let me start with you. All right. Uh, you got into the game in the year 2000. Yes, 2000. And uh, tell us about that, because your genre is like yeah, it's a... It's a long journey. You know, those days we had cassettes. Cassettes. We did not have the CD. The uh. CD were not yet out. We had cassettes. So therefore, to have a, a cassette was like you having a gold. Because you, should, you could just, uh, select some of the songs you like, mm. and then these songs, you know, you go to the disco vumbi. We used mm. to call it a local disco. Then disco you have vumbi. a cassette. Everybody is like, someone, what, what cassette do you have? Mm. <laughs> then me, I had Lad Raro, and I had Nerf Crisis of uh, Culture. Mm. Then when I came to Mombasa with the two cassettes, they were stolen. I was so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so then I wanted to continue music. I loved this style of Lad Raro and uh, culture. Mm. So I remember Nerf Crisis, the album. Mm. So when they were stolen, I felt so bad. Then I went to Malindi, mm. FB Records was mm. in Malindi by then. That's where I recorded my first song called Creation in Our Situation. Creation in Our Situation. Yes, it was a situation. Uh, that, that was a reggae song, yeah? It's a reggae song, yes. And uh, you see, it did not do well. I did not know about marketing, but I had the CD. I could only go to the club. Mm. Then the DJ, I have to bribe the DJ as normal it is. I so the marketing. I don't know whether him he knows this. Uh, no, VDJ <laughs> Khalifa is a nice guy. He wouldn't do okay. that. Really. <laughs> or, and nowadays they have this business. They say that the cable is not connected because it's gone. You have to come earlier. So if you're not mm. coming earlier, you're gonna listen, not listen to your music. Oh my! They have a comp where they don't, it does not have enough cables. So the enough DJ cables. will tell you, he cable mazai fine. <laughs> so you have to give money for the cables now. Yeah, you give money <laughs> then the cable in a particular. <laughs> VDJ <laughs> Khalifa, this is what you, get, you do to the artist. DJ wetu. Before atangalie content ya kwanza kwanza uni mkenya. Gikuwa ni diamond ametokelezea pa mara moja atataki kujua na wanaimba nini. That's why Kodesh is mad. Yeah, msimula umu wana kwa kamada hata alisema kwa ni njimbo zangu muna nitaftanga mm. lakini like, wakati mefanya nonsense muko hivi masimu that's Then interesting that's very relevant uh. and as a fanya yon nonsense and because naturally anajua, akifanya poa uh. amuenda hii amuenda hii no, hakuna mtu nataka good story uh. kile mtu nataka controversy everyone wants a, a juicy story let me ask you naturally <laughs> rather tali mkali <laughs> Uh, is it the same way? I know you, I understand you're still a teacher because once a teacher, always a teacher. Yeah. But is it the same way in the music industry? Uh, where you're from? Is, uh, uh, do the I artists have to bribe <laughs> the DJs to get I their music played? I know. I don't know how it is these days. Uh. I know. I remember hearing on the radio in my youth about the scandals. The scandals. Yeah, about uh. that same issue. Mm. Yeah. So I don't. But I don't. I. You know, money. <laughs> Money talks, as they say. It. Money Everything talks. has its price. I'm afraid it's probably the same, but I, I can't tell you for sure. Mm. I haven't been involved in the music industry in the United States. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Coco de Tapro. Yes. Uh, so, the cassette, then you made your it, first yes, track. Then you had to bribe a DJ. But uh, let me ask you, uh, yeah. when, when, when was it, did you feel like uh, now you had fans who are accepting your style of music and you yeah. as an artist? Uh, you know what I did? I went to do the ground. Mm. I went to Meru. And when to Meru. I went to Meru, I went to a club. Then that club, because I was performing, I, that was my first performance outside the Mombasa count. Mm. Meru. Then I was given a stage. Then I, I think what I, should, I wanted to do, I brought up all the talents. That's acrobats and our Twingino talent of Chakacha dancers. Mm. Dikawapeleka Meru. 
Oh, so you Mau went with them from uh, Mombasa? Mombasa to Meru. Oh, okay. And then the stage, Ilishika sana. I mm. I remember a professor coming from Chuka saying, I want to say MJ. That was Michael Jackson reincarnation show. Mm. And they create those days. So, Ilishika sana. You can do what I have. I don't own love music. I have a talent in acting. You comedy. became an entertainer, not just an Me artist. I'm just an entertainer. I yeah. na have materials from other people. Mm. Because you know you cannot be the one and the one. What what I talk to now? Ata kama wewe ni mkali aje. Watasema hebu toa hiyo. They need more content from. They you. need more content and different content. Uh. Therefore they only fanya collection and I still that's my passion. I I am thinking also going to get the street talent from these street children. Mm. I had some of the rappers. I used to go to go and eat with them. I buy bread with with the street children. Then I went with a friend told me why you tell mbona unanichukua kwa machokora? <laughs> Karibu ampio kamwambia huyu ni baba yetu uh. amekuja kutusalimia. So mm. nikamwambia okay nataka murap. Wako fit Ivan. Mm. Street kuna talent. Yesterday you remember we uh, met yeah. the band mm -hmm. band uh, on the street very good band. I'd like to bring you to bring those people here so that they can be seen. So they are showcase their talents. They're, they're blind people. Blind people. They're blind Musicians. people. They're mm. playing guitar. They're pl uh, playing drums, drums and guitar and wow. singing. Mm -hmm. is, is it the culture that, uh, that you fell in love with in terms of music and the music industry in Kenya? Or what was it exactly? Is it the uh, language, uh, the okay. culture? I have, a, I have a love for Africa, music, rhythm. It's very old mm. <laughs> from my childhood. Yeah, uh, I was brought up in East Africa, mostly in, in Uganda. Uganda. So at that time, my sister and I learned Shiganda dancing. My sister took drumming and, uh, and she learned to play the Ngalabi, the, 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 uh, a lot of mu Uganda music at, uh, music at the Uganda Museum. Myself, mm. I followed my sister, but she became, she was number one. She was joined a, she was a dancer in a Shiganda club. And so, uh, like a, a, what do you call it? A group that went from place to, you know, just, uh, they were kids, high school students. Mm. So when I went back to the United States, um, I joined a Afro-Caribbean, Afro-dancing. Because yeah, you dance Dancing, drumming. Yeah, I just had to do it. You, you know, just had to do it even yeah. when you went back. Yeah. Then I was in the Caribbean for mm. many years. And uh, again, there's the music and that. I was in the Dominican Republic, merengue, bachata, you know, that stuff. It's similar, but not mm. the same. And uh, now... I came back to Africa now, the last year to this year, and uh, I just, I love it. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to, yeah, it's, uh, you know, you play some old Congolese music, I'm there, you play mm. that. <laughs> you just immerse yourself in the African culture and the African music. Yeah. Uh, how did you guys meet? All right. <laughs> Who to explain? You can explain or explain. I want you to explain. All right. <laughs> I went into a function, a national function, Mashuja Day, mm. 20th of October, in Kisi Stadium. Mm. Then I was told to perform without payment. Mm. I said, yes, I'm going to perform for free. Then my intention was to showcase my talent. I know I'm good. So I knew if I start to say, pay me, no, people want to know what I have. Mm. And so I said, all right. I went into stage. In... 30 seconds, people are screaming, including policemen that were marching. <laughs> because my anti corruption song, Vampire, has mm. got a great content. That's a, a talk of uh, Jose uh, Thomas Sankara, that is the president of the Burkina Faso, mm -hmm. who was assassinated by them because of being an anti corruption crusader. So then I collected the material to uh, bring out the anti corruption song, Conquer the Vampire. Mm. So I performed that, and uh, then the whole stadium exploded. Then there was Elkana Ongesa, this uh, a legend in the Kisi sculpture. Then he said, he called me and told me, you come to the symposium. I have a function. You may not know, mm. uh, but I'm not going to pay you. Mm. I said, yes, I'll still come. You see, still, him, he wanted to give me a platform. Because he, saw, he told me, but I can give you a transport. He saw home. your capability as an entertainer. Yeah, he told me, transport I can give you, mm. but you just come. Mm. Then it was lucky. He gave me transport, he gave me food, and I met her there. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's because I was taking part in the symposium. I was a sculptor in the symposium. A sculptor. This, yeah. Uh -huh. She did a sculptor. So we met, we talked, I said I'm an artist. Then we went for lunch together. Mm. I remember inviting her for dinner, but I did not have money. Mm. <laughs> 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 not have money, mm. but I invited her. Mm. 
So when it, the dinner time came, I was just looking, and then I, I was, you know, going to my friends, <laughs> <laughs> then uh, I don't know what happened. Mm. Because mm. So it was a But eventually you met. To Kailawana na mungu katuleta pamoja. Na ni kampeleka studio. Ni kama you know what you do? Njo studio. Kasema studio to do what? And they just ni peleka tu one vile nafanya. Kufika pale. I, I have Kokoriko for a long time. Yeah. Now I'm gonna uh, compose, I have a composition of children's song. Sana takawe unlete ngoma ya kitoto ya unajua. Mm. Any children's song that you know. Then she told me which language. I said any language. I said I want to sing Spanish, but the French part I want to uh, teach the children. Ah. So that's how, it's through our opinion that we now use children in our songs. Mm. And it's doing very well. <laughs> have you ever done something like that before? Or well, I was I, I started a school yeah. for my own children another ed, another another lifetime <laughs> 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 and uh, and so I I always was teaching children music yeah. I was learning children's songs mm. and um, yeah so it's like like for me it's just like do you want it in Spanish or English I know some French too so mm. yeah so so I've never done it on stage. Oh, okay. On I a recording. Like for a recording. I, yeah. I mean, you know, at school you teach kids so they have a show to the parents, that kind of thing. So I've done that kind of, those kind of shows. Mm. Uh, low technology. <laughs> <laughs> but for the first time now you're on a track. Yeah, yeah. With a uh, Coco it's Dita approach. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, this collaboration is amazing. I love the story behind it. That's now Coco is but the song. You don't song. even know half the story of where the songs come from. The Coco Rico song. Prior <laughs> to you joining yeah. in and putting the French. You know this song, uh. especially the Kisi part, uh. is when you know this was a song of the girls. Mm. Therefore, Nikipeleka Ngombe Pale Malishoni, then you know these girls are singing this ginger. I was asking myself, mm. what is this so nice like this? But you know, they can't allow me because I'm a boy. Mm. So how do I get to the game? I say, I want to fetch for you firewood. Mm. Then one girl told the other, that guy want to fetch for us the firewood. So you, he's, then you can join the game. I say, yeah. So that's what I used to do. Mm. I go fetch firewood very fast. And for you them, listen. So that they are not going to fetch firewood so mm. that the game continues. Yeah. So you're really curious about those songs? Yeah, I was so curious, you know, then this thing yeah, has been ringing child, in my head. Yeah. Mm. And the low part, Oyundi, mm. Oyundi this is a guy who says he has, it's leg is broken, but during uh, food smelling, he forgot that the leg was broken and then he come <laughs> running for the food. <laughs> and this, uh, this is a poem of a court pitek mm. that was aired by KBC, this uh, channel. Those days we had KBC English service. Mm. So it was a curricula at school. Mm. Then they were uh, bringing the poem of a court pitek. Mm. That they say, Oyundi ni timoti, Oyundi na kekeke. Then after some time, I thought it's good to bring the Oyundi issue into my song, Kokoriko, mm. to complete the philosophy of the children. Uh, any other language? Now Spanish, that's, that's a part, and French. So we have five languages in, the, in one song. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, uh, has anyone done something like that before? I think uh, you're it's one of the few. Something, you know, what one I talk to and research. So if you want to do something, you do it fully. Kitu enye, mm. You know the reason we are not doing well in the music? We have copy. We copy people. Everyone is sounding <laughs> the same. Yeah. Mm. So mtu anazikia, you know, nimbia kama bo male. See, oja ni kuna CD ya bo. Mm. We are not going to be a kama diamond. I just go to diamond street. Mm. Then that's why to ranguka. But kama to a rude ki culture. Imba kilu ya mkangala. Yeah. People explode. Kanungo is loved. Yeah. yeah. I like kanungo. <laughs> you love kanungo. You see? I like kanungo. Yeah. You know, uh, 2007, there was this political tension. No, uh, 2013. Political tension because mm. there was, I don't know what, politics between Kikuyus and Luz. Mm. I went to a Kikuyu club. A DJ played Kanungu. They mm. exploded. They said, you see, Mziki Auna Ukabila. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Kokoriko, we're about to play Kokoriko. Yes, sir. Uh, up next. But prior to that, uh, I want to ask you, Talim Kali, mm. aka Natalie. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Are you planning on now venturing into music fully? Or was, or was this a one-time thing? Uh, will we have another song? 
I you mean, do? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's we've done this song. Will this, this turn into an album or a mixtape or something? That's an idea. In, in fact, I'm retrieving my songs. I'm mm. upgrading my the beat. Mm. Yeah, from you know, what I did, I have three albums. That's 18 songs. And the three singles, that's counted to 21 songs. So for 18 years, I've done these songs, but they are in the archives. Mm. So um, I want to bring one by one, redo them, vision with the tradition so that I can have something in it. Mm. Yeah. And this is amazing news. Yes, thank you. Guys back at home, Mushaskia, a Koko de Taproot and Talim Kali, they have an album coming up. And Vlomeskia, you're going to research, you're going to research fully, it's not going to sound like anything else. No, right? no. You don't Where can someone find you, by the way, on social media? It's always going to be a mix. It's always going to be Sometimes different. A fusion, let's say. A fusion. Yeah, yeah you vision. Like because word. what I, I want to do, if I get a Kikuyu, uh. I'm singing a gospel, uh. I want to sing a Ngai. So that the so you're looking for someone. The Kikuyu said, no, ah, Ngai, the duty means see this thing in the gospel. Uh. come out as scared, the other Luga, atakuwa tundani. Where can someone find you on social media? Maybe there's a Kikuyu yeah. singer right there yeah, yeah. who wants to jump in on the, okay, what on I the want, mix. What uh. I want to uh, tell the Kenyans, yeah. please let us have our own content. Tujaribu sana kuangalia nyimbozetu za kitambo. Avadari do redo ya Daudi Kabaka than redoing ya Diamond. Because Diamond is not a Kenyan. I'm not being discriminative. But, as but you as want people to as do as their as research. There is, there is a fight that they, uh, you are not, they are not playing Kenyan music. It's because of this content is not coming to reality. It's not really <laughs> Kenyan <laughs> content. DJ Kiskia now, ah, I better play the American. I this think we DJ Khalifa like agrees America. with you. <laughs> <laughs> but we all agree with you. I, I agree with you, and I think that's very true. We need yeah. to be putting more research into our work. Our work. Yeah. We have rich heritage, rich man. Heritage. And I think uh, you guys can also mentor some people. So where yeah, can yeah, someone yeah. find you on social media if yeah. they need the mentorship? Uh, that's your camera And right another there. thing I want to say. <laughs> Me, I want to be a role model yeah. of everyone. Yeah. The reason is because I am past the age that I can be like, I don't know. And another thing is, you know, you cannot purport to be you are not a role model of someone, and yet you are in a public gallery. Unless you go into your private affairs. Yeah. Then you cannot be role of no one. The, the channel is we use you to put on your uh, dirty pictures. The channels are for the public. They also <laughs> don't belong to you. Uh, so, uh, the I, I, are you referring to a Kote? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have this. I don't know how you speak. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm referring to that because, uh. Uh, you know, she's my friend in Facebook. Yeah. She's my friend before she became a celeb. Uh. So, all her videos, they, I, know, I know them. Mm. Uh, so, I see like, you media, don't call me uh, like that, you know, fine, salvo. And then, like, you said in this to the morning that, hey, I fear. Leon takuwa kwa Instagram. Mm. So it has become so that na kimbisha na woga. Hapa mm. na tuonge ukweli. Mm. Unawana, if you want to be a model, uh, you want to be a public model, mm. you owe us something. Wewe ni wetu. So you na, feel na, like... Na, a... Lazima utuonyeshe poa. Uh. Na ini kama unataka at you know it's nobody's business, then usikuje kwa hii media. So, so media you feel like, like uh, once you're in the public eye, uh, you're you responsible for, for everything that you do <laughs> yeah, on social media people, and everywhere. My friend. You feel the same way, Natalie? <laughs> Yeah, we were talking about it after your conversation this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, personally, from my religious point of view, I was, um, I'm a Baha'i, a member mm. of the Baha'i faith, and we're told to bring ourselves to account every day, mm. at the end of the day. So I think, of course we're accountable. The, how can I say I'm not accountable? It's mm. like, okay, if I do something unconsciously, I can then ask forgiveness if I become aware of the person I've offended, or if I have, or God, whatever. You know, I just feel like, I have to I have to watch my own back. Mm. You know, I have to be try and, and, and be as good as I can be. Um, yeah, and I don't And hold yourself accountable. And hold, hold myself I can't say oh it's, I, for me that's my personal. Mm. We all have opinions. Everybody's got one, you but know. I, I like like opinions. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming I've through. I've not talked of my uh, Twitter handle. Yeah, that's yeah. where I'm going right now. Uh, right. this is what we're going to do. I want to start with Natalie. Yes. Okay. That's your camera right there. Ah. Okay, so what do you want me to do? Uh, tell us where we can find you on social media, please. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sort of old school still. Yeah. I got a, I've got a, a Facebook page. Okay. It's under Tally, T-A-L-I, Saxton, mm. S-A-X-T-O-N, at, fa at Facebook. That's it. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Coco de Taproot. Coco de Taproot is K-O-K-O -K -O space D-E Taproot. 
Mm. Yeah, I want to say the philosophy of Taproot. Taproot goes to the depths, it brings out the energy, takes out the energy to the leaves, and then we have production of the fruits as consumption for human nature. That's why I say, I the Taproot with my beard, I'm going down to the depths, then I'm bringing out the energy in reality, in affection, in the music, yeah.